welcome to Rant Football again. Yeah, we're just here to talk about um, a couple of transfers. Who do you think we should be going? Um, about some about the match what happened midweek um, and a couple of young kids. I think <coughs> them young kids, the, they are, some of them are top class. They are really top class for me. Um, at least loan them out to another Premier League side if you have to, just to get the experience up. Now, what formation would you play? Because the formation is important to United this season, and he's got to play in the formation, he's got to play it dead right. Because if if we play the form, if we, I've seen, I've seen other um, video and other clips, and a lot of people saying, they should play five at the back. We don't want to do that. We want to go and attack this year. We've got the players to go and attack. Now, if we get a couple of young kids on the bench for Manchester United, which we've seen in the midweek game, which is, it wasn't a great game. It wasn't, it, it was, it's an okay game. It was, it was nothing fantastic about it to go, wow. But there's a, there's a couple of kids there who I do say, wow, too. Um, it's a young lad on the, the left hand side, I think it was. Um, I think he was fantastic. Um, with that goal he scored, he just took it well, took it really well. I just to, to be truthful with you. Now, the, the likes of Mata, Matic, Pereira, he you know, he scored a wonder goal. He scored probably the, the best goal in. The first season game, but yes, I do think Pereira, Mata, Matic, um, Phil Jones, Richard Linderoff, even David De Gea, they all should be sold for me. Um, we had the best, we had the best out of De Gea. Linderoff in the first game, it was, it was okay. He wasn't great. He wasn't great at all. Um, Pereira in the game. He was okay, he was, he was average for me. He wasn't a world class player. And he never had been but that wonder goal he scored on midweek was fantastic. If you could do that all game, if you could get put in the first team and do that all the time, he'd be fine. But he's not gonna do that. So you've got to let him go. Now Jesse Lingard he's the other he's the other one. He should go because I think you know he's come through the Manchester United banks. He's come through, and yes, he, he has been a top player for Manchester United. He has done what he, what he should do. But recently, last season, um, and the season before, didn't have a great game for me. Didn't have a great season. But the thing is that with, with him, I think he should get sold to West Ham. Um, sent to West Ham at least. 25 mil. I think he's worth 25 mil for my liking. Um, I'd be happy to take 25, 20 million if he's got to come down. But, um, yeah. Um, and another thing is, Marcus Rashford. Um, he's got to go for um, his operation for his arm. Um, what do you think about him going? I think I don't think he should have played in the Euros, me. I think he should have turned around and said, right, Marcus, you go and get your operation done now. Um, you're not going to play in the Euros. The club are in charge, don't forget, not the country. The club's in charge. So what the club should have said, Marcus, you're going to get your operation done. You're not playing in the Euros. And then you could be fit and you could be back in time for the season. But now you're going to miss what? What you got to be up for? About three months, three months out. We need you. Well, don't actually, we do need you, but um, we've got other people to replace. Just sitting there, just to um, start off the season for a couple of months. If they ever get injured, I think we'd be knackered. So yeah, um, with the rash, with, um, what's going on with rash at the moment? We have, we have got like the Sancho there, um, the Greenwood, um, Martial, I don't, he had a bad season last season and uh, he had, a, he had an, um, a great one the season before I think it was, but last season 
No. I, I don't think he was uh, actually good enough for last season. You know he's out injured. I think he's, he's another one that should go. Now, there is a lot of rumours that uh, Manchester all over uh, Facebook and stuff like that I've seen. I've heard it through people as well that saying that uh, Antonio Martial could be getting part exchange with Dortmund, with Dortmund for Highlander, if that's his name. So I couldn't say his name right. Um, but yeah, um, it could be part exchange for him. Now, if, if that is actually true, that would be fantastic. I hope we can offer him about 70 million, 80 million plus uh, Martial. I think that could work. Um, but we know what Dortmund's like. They, they won 120 million last season for the likes of um, Sancho. This season we got him for at least at least um, 73 million. So that's not bad. Um, so, yeah. Um, do I think we need more signings in? Yes. We need a CDM, CDM definitely. Um, if it was me, I'd go for Nindida from Leicester. Um, I think he's a belting player for me. Um, otherwise, I would have gone for the likes of um, Rice, Declan Rice, um, County at Chelsea, but would Chelsea let um, County go to their actual rivals? I don't think he would. But there's a couple of... Uh, names I mentioned but I'm still a bit worried about this thing with Marcus Rashford. Do we need him? Do we need him to get I had to go delay it a bit. That's that's what's going on. That's the end of the room is what I'm hearing. They go delay it he's going him delaying it is going. Now we want him to be fit for whenever he comes if he goes fit we need him to get him fit for when he comes back and get going again. But yeah, we do need him fit. Yes, we do need players in. Uh, like I said, Declan Rice, um, Nindere from Leicester, um, even Kante from Chelsea. If if Chelsea wanted to let him push him through and let him go, um, so yeah, I'd be interested to see. What, um, even the possibly rumours that Trippier is supposed to be coming, supposed to be told his England teammates that. He definitely wants to come to Manchester United. So we'll see how all that goes. Um, but yeah, give us a thumbs up if you like it. If not, a thumbs down. If not, hit the notification bell as well. So you get up, when I go live again, um, you you will get them through. Um, and you, you find out everything what's going on. Now, the kits. Let's talk about the kits. Do you think, I like the red one, I think the red one's quite smart, I do think it's, it's better than that one what we've got now, the Zev one, God, you never get me buying that from me or any of my kids, it's, it's, uh, it's not a kit for me that one, but yeah, um, yeah I do like the red kit, you put in enough in the, the comments what you think, um, who should sign in the midfield for the CDM, um, what you think about the Rashford and what you actually feel about the, the Manchester United new kits. Um, I won't be buying one, um, you know, Man United new kit this year, so I just want the glazes out of the club, get rid of the glazes, then I might start buying the kits again. But we all know they're, they're just spending now, they're spending um, the money um, just for panic. Because I know if you don't start spending what we want, did actually turn around. I mean, you know what the fans did last time. They ran on the pitch, destroyed it, abandoned the match. But the people, I yeah, get into the ground, process that way. But you don't ever run on the pitch because that was stupid. But yeah, like you said, you've got to get the big thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. I'm not interested in what you do. Um, but yeah, we want uh, the uh, notifications. Leave your comments what you think about Rashford and... Manchester United kit. No, I'm not wearing a kit. I'm wearing a Wigan Warriors kit. To all that kit at the top. 
So if, if you're thinking of wearing your United kit, the top on that is Wigan Warriors. So yeah, I'll tell you go. So give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And the thumbs down if you don't. Hit the notification bell, like I said. Leave your comments and uh, we'll get back to you and it um, when I get any more information. But next week, Ravan is coming to Manchester United and he will be signing for Manchester United next week. Leave your comments if you think we, sh uh, we should buy the finish CDM and uh, if, we, if you think we actually need a uh, backup right back. So apart from then, it's Andy G, Van Football, and I'll see you when I see you.